Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's lesson, we're going to create a project where we generate random passwords. This will help us solidify our understanding of functions and random numbers. This will be an exercise for beginners. By setting different options, we can change the format of the password. And well, let's begin everybody. All right, let's begin. We'll need to let our program know what the length of our password is going to be. Let's create a constant to store that. Const password length. Set this equal to maybe 12, but we can adjust that accordingly. We'll create a boolean to specify if our generated password is going to contain lowercase characters. We'll create a constant include lowercase. Do we want to include lowercase characters? We can set this to be true or false. We will set this to be true. Do we want to include uppercase characters? Include uppercase. I will again set this to be true. Do we want to include numbers? Const include numbers. I will set that to be true. Do we want to include symbols? Const include symbols. We'll define a function at the top of our program. Function to generate password. We have a lot of parameters to set up. We're going to pass in all of these constants as arguments. So we have a length, include lowercase, include uppercase, include numbers, and include symbols. When we call this function, we have to pass in all of these arguments. So we will call our generate password function, pass in our password length, include lowercase, include uppercase, include numbers, and include symbols. At the bottom of our function, we will be returning a password. But for now, I'm just going to write an empty string, because we still need to determine what that password is going to be. After finishing the generate password function, this will return a string, a string password. We will store that within const password equals whatever is returned from the generate password function. And just so that this is more readable, although not necessary, I'm going to place each of these arguments on a new line because I'm OCD about things being in alignment. And then at the very end of this program, I will display a template string of generated password. I'll add a placeholder, then we'll display our password that we generate. So right now, it's not going to display anything. We're returning an empty string. But that is everything we need outside of this function to generate our password. Basically, we're passing in options when we generate our password. Do we want to include lowercase characters, uppercase characters, numbers, and or symbols? We have a number and a bunch of Boolean values. Within our password, we're going to create a few constants within this generate password function. We will create one long string of all of the lowercase characters, chars, equals, I'm going to go through the alphabet. We will have one long string of alphabetical characters. And I think I got all of them. So there should be 26. Now we're going to do this with uppercase characters. Const uppercase chars equals. I'm going to turn on caps lock. Go through the alphabet. We'll create a constant of number characters. Number chars equals 0 through 9 and symbols const symbol chars which symbols would you like to include I'll just add a bunch that's probably good enough for now feel free to add more or less we will create a variable for allowed chars, meaning characters, and an empty password. Let password equal an empty string. 
if some of these constants are true, we would like to take that corresponding set of characters and concatenate it to the allowed char string. So what we'll do is take our allowed characters variable, use string concatenation by using plus equals. We'll check to see if include lowercase is true or false. We can use the ternary operator for that. If we would like to include lowercase characters, we will string concatenate our lowercase chars, our lowercase characters. Otherwise, we'll concatenate an empty string. Let's do this with uppercase characters. With our allowed characters, let's string concatenate and check if we're including uppercase characters. Question mark. If this is true, we will concatenate all of the uppercase characters we've declared. Otherwise, we'll concatenate an empty string, so we don't include them. Let's do this with number chars. Include numbers. Are we including numbers within our password? If so, we will return our number chars string, and then symbols. Are we including symbols within our password? If so, concatenate our string of symbol characters. All right, just to test everything, afterwards, I'm going to console.log are allowed characters. So right now I'm going to switch all of these constants to be false. So right now we're not including any characters. If I were to set include lowercase to be true, we would include all of the lowercase characters. That's one long string. Let's test uppercase. Yep, we are including all of the uppercase characters. Include numbers. Yes, that works and include symbols. That also works. At this point in the program, we're going to have one gigantic string of all of the possible characters. Before we move on with the program, I do want to run some checks using some if statements. First, let's check to see if the password length is zero or less than zero. Right now it's set to 12. Using an if statement, if the length, the length of the password, is less than or equal to zero, we need to let the user know that the password length must be at least one. We will return a string. Password length must be at least one. Right now we're not generating a password. We're returning an empty string. If I set the password length to be zero, we will generate this message. Password length must be at least one, or even a negative number like negative one. Password length must be at least one. Let's set that back to be 12. What if we don't select any options? What if all of these character options were false? We can check the length of our allowed characters variable. So if our allowed characters length property is strictly equal to zero, this will only be possible if all of these options are set to false. We will return a template string. At least one set of characters needs to be selected. And let's see if this works. Yes, it does. At least one set of characters needs to be selected. I can select any options that I would like. I will set these all to be true. Now here's the hard part. For as many iterations as our password is, we will select a random character from all of the different possibilities. We will use a for loop. We will let i be our index, our counter. We will continue this for loop as long as i is less than the length, the password length, then increment i by one during each iteration. If our password length is 12, we will execute this for loop a total of 12 times. Now we will generate a random index. Const random index equals, we will use the random method of math. This generates a random number between zero and one. I can multiply this number that's randomly generated by the length of our allowed characters. Let's say we're including only lowercase characters. Well, this is a total of 26 characters in the alphabet. 
If I'm taking math.random times 26, I'll be given a random number between 0 and 25, but I will need to round it down. Let's enclose this equation with the floor method of math to round down. Math.floor. We'll use string concatenation with our password. Currently our password is an empty string, but we will use string concatenation. We will string concatenate a randomly chosen character from our string of allowed characters. Password plus equals our allowed characters at the index of random index. Then at the end of this program, we will return our password. And let's see if this works. Let's close out of this function. We don't need it anymore. And let's see if this works. Yeah, there's our password. So every time I run the program, I get a new random password. And I can turn these options on and off. Let's set all of these options to be false to begin with. And I will set the length to be zero. Let's see what happens. Password length must be at least one. All right, how about a password of 10, 10 characters long? At least one set of characters needs to be selected. Let's select only lowercase characters. Yep, we only have lowercase characters. Let's allow uppercase characters now. Let's allow numbers. I didn't get any of that time. Let's do it again. Okay, there's a number. I guess numbers don't come up very frequently. And let's include symbols. And there's a few symbols in there. All right, everybody, so that was an exercise to generate random passwords. It should give you some practice with functions and working with random numbers. And well, everybody, that was a random password generator in JavaScript.